Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Central Vancouver Island is bracing for a wet, windy night. Weather warnings have been issued as well as high stream flow advisories for several island rivers. We'll get weather details from Ed Bain in just a moment. But Dean Stoltz begins our coverage with the story of many people on the Mid-Island who are still cleaning up from last night's storm. While rain and wind pounded most of the island overnight, some communities woke up to a winter wonderland. This is Cumberland, where shovels are out in full force, clearing driveways and stairways. While bigger machinery is out clearing roads and sidewalks. When I woke up at like 4 o'clock this morning, it was really coming down. Oh, I don't mind it. I came from Alberta for three years, so... I, this is uh, nothing. This is nothing. It'll be gone probably in the next couple days. So. Well, it was snowing pretty hard and our whole front porch was covered. It was just coming in the front door. <laughs> many of the village roads remain snow covered or slushy for most of the day and many vehicles had to be dug out after being covered in 10 to 15 centimeters of snow. But for children, all they wanted to find was the nearest hill. Ah, uh, it's fun. Uh, we just made a jump. It's fun for a little while, but after a while, it gets all slushy and mushy, yeah, and it's just not fun anymore. Highway crews from MCON were kept busy clearing Highway 19 between Parksville and Campbell River, but by early afternoon, the roadway was mostly just wet. It was a different situation on Highway 4 west of Port Alberni, however. This is Sutton Pass, where heavy snow and snow-covered roads west of here made travel to the west coast treacherous. In fact, back in Cumberland, this family had planned to go to Tofino today. Once we saw the weather report and the BC weather camera, we decided to, uh, to postpone our plans in the name of safety. There is snow in Port Alberni as well, a few centimeters overnight, meaning people are shoveling here too. And not everyone is happy about it. <laughs> no, as much as uh, people want the white stuff, I guess I'd rather have the rain. Don't shovel it. And here on Mount Washington, conditions suddenly look very good for opening day in just two and a half weeks. Yeah, in the last week we've had close to 40, 50 centimeters on the ground and uh, with this current snowfall there's supposed to be at least 30 centimeters predicted in the next 24 hours. So La Nina is coming in in full effect right now and uh, it looks like conditions are going to be shaping up for the start of the season. But back in the valley at lower elevations, warmer temperatures combined with melting snow and heavy rain is expected to increase water levels and stream flows in creeks and rivers. People are urged to be cautious.